And new video tonight. Many of us in the newsroom found this hard to believe. A fight breaks out at a girls' varsity basketball basketball game and the next thing you see is the coach grabbing a player by her hair and then just throwing her to the ground throwing her several feet and only on 7 news tonight we hear from that girl who was kicked off the team and suspended but the coach is still coaching only minutes were left in last week's game between two rival schools everybody just ran to the fight when this fight broke out Ariane was on the Arvada high school bench my intentions were to go break up the fight and grab my girl off of their girl. But she never made it. My first reaction was I just got thrown by a, another girl from the team. Take a closer look at what happened. It was no girl. That's her head coach who grabbed her by the hair and tossed the sophomore to the ground. I was just shocked. Like, I can't believe the one person I trusted out of everybody in school was the one to do that to me. Arvada and Alameda high schools have a history. The girls' teams fought last year, something Ariane was involved in. She also admits to another fight at school, but says her past and leaving the bench does not justify her punishment, a five-day suspension and being kicked off the team. They didn't even give me the benefit of the doubt this time when I didn't do anything. It's just like now it shows you don't have any hope or faith in your students to change. Now, Ariane and her mother are upset over how they've been treated by the district and the coach. There was no, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to, it was an accident. He was just as angry as I was, like I had assaulted his child. I just got no respect at all from none of the administration. None of them even asked if I was okay the next day. Like, they were all just pointing fingers trying to make themselves look like the better person. It hurts me to know that I can't play anymore. Ariane admits the coach told the team no fighting and that he'd step in if it was necessary. The coach, who also teaches at Arvada High School, was not punished. Lakewood police investigated what happened, but in the end, the DA thought it was a case that couldn't be prosecuted. The district tells us since no charges were filed, they consider the matter closed.